The Stone Tablet series continues. If you're unfamiliar with the series, pretty much we pull one of these staples and then we have to build a deck and go into ranked with whatever staple we pull. In the first episode, we had Blue Eyes White Dragon. The second episode, we had Jinzo, the Machine Menace. Now we have to see which minifigure we're gonna pull next and then we have to build the deck with whatever we get. So, I've learned, I've learned from last time and I'm just going to open it the correct way to open it. Oh, right, TA. Opening it the way it was intended to be opened. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Real sword. Real sword. People, sometimes people see that and they're like, oh, it's just a fake sword. No. You could kill someone. All right. The next stone tablet from the minifigures is... Ah, oh, no. Joey... Wheeler. I was uh dreading the day that we ran into a character, mainly because the character duels are gonna be much more difficult than uh <laughs> than just the archetype specific thing. All right, so I wasn't really sure how I was gonna go about doing characters, but here's what I'm thinking for the character specific uh, pulls that I get. Each character specific deck has to include at least three staple monsters that the character used in the actual show or manga. And then 80% of the deck has to be support for those three staples, depending on which staples that I pick. So for example, for Joey, I can't just make a full on red eyes deck and then call it a Joey deck. I have to have like red eyes, and then some red eye support, but I also have to have two other staples that he's used, such as like Time Wizard and then some Time Wizard support and like Jinzo with some Jinzo support, which might end up being what I do. An 80% of a 40 card deck is 32 cards. So that means at least 32 cards would have to just be support for those three things. And it has to be at least three things. The only exception to that 80% support rule that I have in place is if I add a card that Joey actually used in the show. So if I want to throw in a card like Graceful Dice, for whatever reason, I probably won't, then that still applies to that 80%. So basically 80% is either support for one of those three monster archetypes, or it can be a card that Joey actually used if it's not within those archetypes. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for Joey uh, in terms of building this deck. What we're gonna make as good of a Joey deck as we can under these restrictions and see if we can get any wins in ranked as Joey Wheeler. All right, this is the Joey Wheeler deck. Again, the rule is at least 80% of this deck is comprised of either a card Joey used or support for one of Joey's staples. So the way I classify support for one of Joey's staples is like for red eyes, as long as it has the word red eyes in it, like red eyes, dark darkness, I count this as a Joey card. And then obviously we have like Jinzo, support for Jinzo with Jinzo the Machine Menace. Like these all count, so in total, 44 cards in this deck. 35 of these cards are indeed uh, Joey certified. We even have cards like Grave Robber in here. Scapegoat, obviously a classic. I was so happy to find out that he actually used Raigeki. Guilford the Lightning. This is very Joey-esque. We even have this ritual card. But the main idea with this deck is obviously going to be in our extra deck. We have Red Eyes support. We have like Red Eyes Fusion. We bring out Red Eyes Slash Dragon. When I attack with Red Eyes Slash, I can attach immortal phoenix gear free to it as an equip spell so if it does happen to get destroyed if red eye slash gets destroyed we can set, uh, special summon this guy he's pretty cool in his own right and then we also have some infernoble cards that uh basically can be used as equip spells and then they give different effects depending on which one i attach so this was kind of the best concept i could think of and then we have some gemini support because obviously we have a couple gemini cards like red eyes black flare let's see what we can do we're in platinum <sighs> Oh, being platinum four was nice while it lasted. We actually climbed to this with Jinzo. I think I'm gonna go second. All right, I only threw two of these in, but of course I have both in my starting hand. This is support for my single Gemini card. All right, we got a shuffler and that's it. That's his whole turn. All right, let's just draw a level, a level four or lower monster. No, but we can get one. We can get one though. All right, so let's start with Red Eyes Insight. I can send a red eyes card to the grave and then I'm just gonna send vanilla red eyes away. Then I can add a red eyes spell or trap from my deck. I'm just gonna grab red eyes fusion. I think that's the best play here. I gotta be careful because if I wanna use red eyes fusion, I can't summon this turn. I can only set. So I think I'm just gonna activate red eyes fusion. 
And I think we're gonna send away Immortal Phoenix Gearfreed along with another Red Eyes. For Red Eyes slash Dragon! <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go into battle. I'm pretty sure what's gonna happen is I'm gonna declare an attack, activate the effect, and then he's gonna shuffle this back before I can actually do it. And I'm kinda, oh, he's allowing it. Okay, attach that. And then main phase two, you don't have evenly matched. It's end of battle phase and he can activate something. I think he probably has evenly matched. I need to be careful. All right, I'm just gonna play this in case he has evenly matched. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda scared of that now. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. All right, I'm gonna activate this now. Special summon a Gemini, so we can bring out our Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. All right, and he's playing Bi-Steel, so I'm cooked. Nice. This is bad. All right. Goodbye. We had a good run, didn't we? Oh, this isn't good. And Zeus. I'm supposed to be Zeus with Joey Wheeler. Ooh, 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 grave robber. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me cook, let me cook. One for one. Send away Marauding Captain. All right, and we're just gonna, I could bring out Copycat. I could bring out Copycat with this. Oh my God, or should I just, uh, I'm gonna do the smart play. All right, bring out black metal dragon and we're just gonna turn that into striker drago that's gonna activate black metal dragon in the grave and i'm gonna grab my red eyes darkness all right we're gonna force zeus to use its effects we're gonna banish this I'm gonna bring this fella out zeus has to use his effect i'm sure oh no he could just shuffle whatever i target we're forcing something so that's fine oh no because it doesn't target yeah you have to use it now so you're just gonna have to hit damn i have exactly three dragons in my graveyard so he can stop this oh why'd you hit marauding captain that was a misplay i mean i guess again he could just zeus but now i could just bring out my black flare black flare drago force the zeus activation luckily that gets rid of his back row too it was evenly matched now i'm just gonna set two <laughs> and end my turn the thing about grave robber is i can't activate it during my opponent's turn oh he's about to be tight he's about to be tight <laughs> none of your attacks is gonna hit me with scapegoat <laughs> i don't know what accent that was scapegoat 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 a scapegoat i'm gonna kick your keister why that one specifically scapegoat i need you to carry me Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be so funny. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's cook. Let's cook. Let's cook. I got to do it for the bit, man. I got to do it for the bit. I'm going to activate Grave Robber. I'm going to take your Hoppy's Feather Dust. <laughs> Let me see this. Let me get that. Let me hold this. Let me hold on to that. Let me hold on to that for you. God, this does 2K damage if I use it, though. I'm going to use it. Oh, brother. Leave me alone, man. 2K damage for no reason, then. That's fine. Oh, wait, that helps Zeus. Okay, he gets one material. As long as he doesn't have two, uh, it's whatever. All right, now we're going to turn one of these sheep tokens into Link Karibo. Because a lot of our other Link cards require at least one effect monster. We could go into Blue Flame Swordsman. Yeah, so let's go Link Karibo and Sheep Token to bring out my <laughs> Ferocious Flame Swordsman. I think I said blue last time. All right, and then I'm going to bring out my Infernoble Knight Malagis. We link climbing, baby. Okay, I'm gonna have to go access code, man. Nightmare Unicorn. Y'all remember when Joey Wheeler played access code talker? Access code talker. You know what? Joey would play him. I, I think Joey would, you know, modern day probably run a little access code. All right, let's just get rid of Zeus all together. Uh, I'm going to pop. Uh, what do I banish here? I'm gonna banish you. Pop. I'm gonna kick your keister. Ain't no way I'm winning with this shit. Please break. Please break. Yes, yes. We won with the Joey deck. We used Grave Robber and won a duel. That is crazy. That... <laughs> Hold up, let me find out. I'm gonna kick your keister.
All right, let's go second again. Luckily, scapegoat, scapegoat is great for link climbing, man. So I knew my backup plan would have to be in the extra deck. Um, we have Divine Knight Ish 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 Zark, who's a level six, but I mean, it's not a terrible effect. And this card is actually pretty sick if I get him out. We just banish one equip spell. We can special summon this guy. And then uh, when he attacks, I can equip a face up monster on the field to this card. So Dogmatica. Can we talk about how it's like 700 cards who look exactly like this card right here? Oh, this card's annoying. I know what you're bringing out. You're bringing out this little 4K beat stick. opponent's deck wait what what are you doing send one monster from it to the graveyard probably looking at my extra deck like what the fuck is this hey bro leave this alone looks like i only have one choice so i gotta send seven cards away all right what's least likely to come out i'm gonna send this away i'm gonna send this away i'm gonna send one of these away anything that i have dupes of i don't really you know i can i can get it back and then honestly i could send link rebo away because i could just summon it from the graveyard i could send this away because i could just banish it from the graveyard to bring out immortal phoenix gear freed damn but i gotta send one more thing away probably you sorry now he really confused it's like divine knight ish zark oh no i just i i exposed myself with this bro he he gonna learn that i'm really just playing a joey deck all right see what we can do Ooh, top deck scapegoat you'd love to see it as long as i don't use extra deck stuff i think i'm okay i don't know what his back row is but let's see if he's able to play something in his back row i'm just gonna play this first okay whatever he has he can play it might be dogmatica punishment i'm worried if i play something from the extra deck he can do something because that's usually what dogmatica does it's like anti-extra deck i'm just gonna go for it let's see what happens strike a dragon activate black metal dragon in the grave grab red eyes darkness metal activate red eyes darkness metal activate grab this it's not activating anything not yet at least now i could link climb i could go into this for no reason i don't think i'm going to all right i'm just gonna activate black metal dragon i'm gonna equip it to this yeah it's like that it's really like that all right he can activate something and that's what's driving me crazy i'm just gonna bring it out i'm just gonna bring this out will i regret it maybe uh we're gonna banish this from the grave to bring out the immortal phoenix geofried i'm gonna kick you keista all right so let's just attack this activate the effect i would like to have this card thank you appreciate it <laughs> ain't no way ain't no way joey out you're cooking ain't no way joey out you're cooking and i'm not gonna go anything extra deck i'm just gonna set this and end my turn there's no way there's no way I'm just going to like win with this deck. Bro, I titled my deck this isn't gonna go well because I was 1000% positive. There's no God, there's no way. There is no way that this is happening. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this looks rigged. I gotta lose at least one, bro. This looks, everyone in the comment section, I'm gonna kick a keysta. I gotta have one brick hand, bro. I gotta have like one hand that, and again, it's not like I want to lose, but there we go. This this isn't as good of a hand. We got Guilford the Lightning, you know what I mean? If I tribute three cards to tribute summon, I can destroy all my opponent's monsters. You better watch out, partner. But guess what? You can't tribute Scapegoat, so keep that in mind. Ah, uh, Trap Heavy deck. I don't think I beat Traps. Unless I do have a singular Jinzo in this deck. If I can pull my singular J Wait, this just destroys monsters, right? Ah, oh, I wish it destroyed all cards. Let's start with Red Eyes Insight. Red Eyes Fusion. I don't want to throw away cards in my hand necessarily. I'd rather mill out my deck. However, but I do think this is the best card to have in the graveyard so I can get it back. So I'm going to send this away along with the Red Eyes. Bring out Red Eyes slash Dragon. All right, I'm just going to activate Black Metal Dragon right away. It negates, but doesn't destroy, right? Yeah, okay. I could just activate it again, I'm pretty sure. You think I'm scared of Lord of the Heavenly Prison? Ah, beat your ass. I'm gonna kick your keista. I only put one Jinzo in this deck because last week, I don't want to make it like super Jinzo themed because I already played like a bunch of Jinzo. I'll just activate this again. 34 hundo. Activate this effect. Grab Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Magic Cylinder, that's fine because we can simply activate this. Send Black Metal away to negate the effect no uh i won't be able to kill this thing now but i do get to search out 
a card. I think I might just grab Return of the Red Eyes, to be honest. Skill Drain could be annoying. Oh, so you're just a straight burn deck. Except you're a dumbass. <laughs> uh, what's good with you? Oh, okay. That's fine. Why didn't you attack with this one? Hello? I think I'm just going to activate this now. And let's bring out... My Red Eyes Black Dragon! Yeah! Yeah, I'm going to kick your keister. Daru. How do I get over this guy? I'm trying to look into my extra deck. I have access code, but access code can't get any stronger because of skill drain. I need something that I can maybe activate in the graveyard. I think right now it might be best to just be patient. All right, let's go defense mode. Defense mode. This red eye slash. Just bring another one of these out. And as long as we just keep these guys on the field, we should be able to just... I don't know. Hold out? Again, I, I just have to hold out until I can draw Jinzo. I draw Jinzo, I think that just turns off skill drain. Now, this guy might have like a lava golem type thing, but I'm... I am Joey Wheeler. I'm gonna kick you, Keista! Rageki! Daru. 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 He could have Mirror Force. But if he does, I have a... I have backup plans. We're good. We're good. I'm going to go for the damage. I'm going to go for the win. No point. He does have a mirror force. Okay. You've made your point. Return of the Dragon Lords. Spring slash back. Put in defense mode. All right. I'm, 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 I'm going to be watching out for that from now on. Let's bring another one of these back. Back to defense mode we go. <laughs> oh, the only thing that's scary is I know this little idiot can just do effect damage. I know he's got a burn deck, bro. He's one Lava Golem away. Maybe I shouldn't have played these. No, Lava Golem won't have its effect. Okay, okay. Skill Drain. Skill Drain. I need Jinzo. Honestly, I might not ever attack until I see Jinzo. Jinzo! Come on, Jinzo. All right, we can mill out the deck and hunt for Jinzo. All right, let's send away a one of these. I could bring this for the meme, but I think the smart play is to just continue to mill out my deck as much as I possibly can. So let's go Red Eyes Fusion, bring out another Red Eyes Slash Dragon. I'm one magic cylinder away from like just getting cooked. But then again, every turn that I wait, he could draw a magic cylinder. Like that might not be magic cylinder at all. Come on. Jinzo, please, Jinzo, 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 stop playing. You play too much. I don't even know if Jinzo will work. Will Jinzo turn off skill drain or will Jinzo just... Okay, that's fine. I figured you had that, but you have skill drain in play. Unless you can get rid of skill drain, in which case I'll throw up. Okay, now in case he can get rid of that skill drain, I think it's best if I just get rid of these now. Then I'm going to set scapegoat and then my turn really i can't do anything i can't do anything until i get jinzo man i only have one watch it be the last card of my deck bro so if it comes down to it he will win okay it's time to find out it's time to find out i tribute a monster for jinzo oh his effects is negated oh no oh no oh no 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 oh no oh no his effects are negated fuck fuck this card i needed this before okay well now i know i have one other out jinzo the machine menace i think he tributes himself to activate his effect i am gonna bring out copycat effect gets negated and i'm just gonna turn him into link karibo because link karibo's effect will at least work i guess we'll mill out the deck a little more i am just giving him lava golem fodder but it's not like lava golem does anything anyway send away time wizard won't be able to get used so let's bring out infernoble knight defense mode I'm sure he has three yep i could attack with low attack monsters Oh, you little bitch. Right, this doesn't do anything right now. I have nothing to get over his back row, man. It's could, this could be bait. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Yep. Okay. 
All right, now I'm even more nervous because if I attack with Black Metal Dragon, my whole thought process was Magic Cylinder wouldn't kill me, but now it would. I have an idea. Damn, I should have done this one. Oh, I actually had the out. I'm just thinking about it. If I bring out access code and I banish access code for cost, then I destroy skill drain, and then I just need a way to get Jinzo back. Bring this out. I'll bring it out just to say I did it. Red Eyes Transmigration. Come on, man. The most anticlimactic way for me to win. Why? You had more cards in your deck. <sighs> well, it went well.